Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Monkey Island 2, Lead Chuck's Revenge. In the last episode we were exploring the rest of this uh, scab, scab island and we also ran into familiar faces. Well, actually one familiar face and that face was the voodoo lady from the first game. And uh, and she basically to told us that she can make a voodoo doll of... Uh, uh, what, what was his name again? Largo, yeah. Largo La Grande or, or something along those lines. You know, the big... The big well, a midget bully, now bullying this entire island because the rest of these pirates here are pussies. But whatever, whatever the case, uh, she uh, she said that she could uh, make a voodoo doll out of him, but we need certain ingredients, and the ingredients are these. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Well, we already well, we already got already got something from the dead, which is his grandfather's bone here, and then we also got something from the head, which is uh, this wig of his or toupee, uh, as this as this game calls it, and we and we and we do know where the where we can find some of his bodily fluid fluids, and it's the spit uh, from the bar, but I don't know how to uh, pick that how how to how to get any of that just yet. And then we need a, a piece of a, a, some of, a, some, an, and, then, and then we need some piece of clothing, but I don't know how to get some of that just yet. All right, all right then. Uh, let's pick up this nice mono monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Trying to make me feel bad. Huh? Well, sorry, but I'm gonna Gang, take it. I've lost my monocle again. Yeah, so, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that, dude. So yeah, uh, then we got stuck in the last episode because I just I just didn't know what to do next. And I've been playing this game by myself a little bit, and I have and I and I have I have figured out something some, something what we can do. Uh, uh, first of all, well, let's go here. Apparently, we have to get this rat somehow. But as you can see, I cannot interact with the rat in any way. I can just go and pick it up. So I so what I basically need to do is first I. Uh, Open this box here, and it opens like this. And then I uh, use these cheese squi uh, squiggles with the box, and there we go. But then, uh, uh, but then th th the door always closes uh, if I try to leave. So what I need to do is to uh, use this stick. That with... doesn't seem to work. Yes, it does work, Guybrush. Just trust me. That doesn't seem to work. No, not the, well, not with the cheese, with the box. There we go. And now, as you can see, the door is open, and the rat goes to, or is about to go to eat to eat some of those that cheese. And there we go. But every time when I try to get close to it, it uh, runs away. So what I think we have to basically do here is that uh, I need to find a string or rope or or something along those lines, uh, uh, tied up to that uh, to, to, to that stick. Put that and put that stick there, and and when and, and and when that rat goes to eat eat those cheese chips or crisps or as I like as I like to call them, I pull the string and knock uh, then knock down and then I, so yeah I basically I pull the string so 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 that the stick uh, falls down and then and then and then the cl door closes and trapping the rat inside the box. So that's what I think we basically have to do. But as you can see, I don't really have any strings or anything here. The, lo the closest thing I have is this monocule, which I don't think it works. Now let's see. Let's try. I don't think it's my prescription. Hmm. Well, let's pick up that stick thing. All right. Now let's see. Can I use a stick with this? That doesn't seem to work. I don't think it's my prescription. Yeah. All right. That doesn't seem to work. Just open the damn box. Have to give orders like this one by one. That's a bit tedious. At at some point when you have to do it all over and over again. All right then. So, uh, so 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 yeah. I need to find I need to find some string or rope that I can use I can I can use I can use to pull that stick away and and uh, so so that the door will trap the mouse inside the box. That's what I assume I have to do. And no, I cannot go and, and pick up um, more of that uh, cheese uh, snacks uh, from inside the in here from the bowl anymore because we don't apparently need need more than that. So we can't do that. Oh, I didn't want to go here. And then I also noticed that there's this other sign here that I completely missed. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. One week's salary in advance, huh? Something tells me that we are going to need that one week's uh, sal salary, the money for something. So let's have a chat with the barkeeper. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? 
Oh yeah, I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning, but if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. All right, so nice place you have here. Well, see ya. So what? So, so what? So, so what we basically need to do is to is to get rid of that cook and and make the make the barkeeper uh, fire him so we so we can work on the kitchen uh, instead. So maybe so maybe we have to make have to make the uh, food taste bad in uh, in in order to make the barkeeper uh, to kick the guy out to kick the fire the guy kick the guy out and fire him. So yeah, th so that's what I have figured out so far. And, and another thing, what I also know, uh, found out is that we can fill this bucket with uh, something. Well, obviously we can, uh, but but I but I but I but I just uh, figured out that what what we can fill it with. So here in the swamp, we use we can fill the bucket with. Wow, a whole bucket of mud, and it's mine, all mine. With mud, and now. I have no idea where I'm, where I have to use this mud. The best idea that, the best idea that, that 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 I have come up with is that we use the mud on some of I don't know so, some of Larko's clothes, uh, so so that Larko is fo is forced to uh, so somehow so that Larko is forced to take take those dirty clothes to the cleaner, and then and then we try to and then we try to somehow uh, get those clothes clothes for ourselves because the voodoo doll. That's what I assume we have to do, but I'm not sure. And since we are here, I think that we might as well go and return the toupee and the bone to the voodoo lady. So we can get some more space to our inventory. Not, 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 that, not that we ever need to worry about the inventory space, because uh, it's infinite, basically. So we don't need to worry about that. But the less items, but, but the less items we have, uh, the, the better, I think. So yeah, let's get let's get rid of this extra item. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Uh, about that voodoo doll, have you brought me the ingredients? Yep, I have this to pay. I have his to pay. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Lovely. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I got you this bone. I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Nope. Nope. Could you tell me what they were again? Just like the list says. Something from his clothes. Some of his bodily fluids. That's all. Now go. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going, we're going. And before we go, since we are here, is there really any, is there really nothing else that we can pick up? They're unlabeled. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. Really? What is inside them? Eyes? As anim as snakes and all that stuff? Books? No, that stuff's way too technical for me. Jar. No thanks. I don't need it. And we can pick up this... Oh wait! Wait! Pick up string! I'll just take a little. No, I didn't even notice that. Fuck yes. So we got the string, and we it can... It appears to be bolted to the table. She really doesn't want to get rid of. She really doesn't uh, want to lose her skulls, eh? Well, whatever the case. So now we got a string. Oh yeah, fuck yes. I didn't. I, I, I didn't even. I didn't even notice them. So yeah, that 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 is a prime example of the of the disadvantage of playing this game with these old pixelated graphics. It's very hard. It's very hard for me to see uh, some small item items or something that I need. All, all, all I, what I, all I, all I, what I'm, I have to do is, is to basically uh, move my m mouse around like this and uh, pixel hunting, basically, uh, basically, and try to find at least some item, items that I can't, that I can't really see, and then pick them up. And this, and this string is a prime, is a perfect example of that. But now that we got the string, let's use it on this stick here. All right, let's. Oh wait, can I just use it like this? Nice. Uh, use the string with the stick. There we go. All right, now let's wait for that mouse to go and eat some cheese. Come on, buddy. Go on. 
There we go. And now then we now we just pull the string. There we go. Haha, you're trapped. Nice. Nice. All right then, half. But mm, can I? It won't fit in my pocket. But can I open the box uh, without the rat escaping? Yes, looks like it. No. Pick up trapped covering rat. All right, so we got got the so we got got a captured rat. And we still got and we still have the string, so we may have to use it for something. Well, we're doing some nice progress here, folks. And now, and I'm curious. Let's take a look at here and see. Can we can we pick up any pick up any of these cheese uh, squiggles? I love cheese squigglies. Squigglies, even. Oh yes, we can we can pick more. All right, awesome. And so we got the bucket bucket of mud. It's a bucket full of mud. So I and I don't know what to do with this. Hmm. Since we are here, let's go to Larko's room here. Let's see. Can I just I don't know use the bucket with I don't know, his bed? I don't think that'll work. Uh huh. Anything else like hmm, dresser? I don't think that'll work. Drawer? I don't think that'll work. It's a bucket full of mud. Yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, can I use it on mm, dressing screen? I don't think that'll work. Hmm. The other, th other thing that we could possibly try is, is, uh, is, is to, is to pour mud all, all over Larko himself. That could, uh, that would be one, that, that would, that could be one way. But let's see. But something tells me that I that I that the game uh, won't give me a chance to even try that at the moment he comes in. Comes in. But let's see. I'll be ready. This might take a couple of minutes. Well, it sh shouldn't even take that long. Maybe a minute tops. I'm waiting, Largo. Come in already. You again? There. I was just leaving. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't use the bucket. Mm, can I? I don't think that'll work. What door is this? Oh, Slam, it's this room. Kid. All right. I. Yeah. All right. So I can't use the bucket uh, full of mud that way. Oh, and oh, and 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 another thing I no noticed when I was playing this by myself, I can also buy the buy wood polish again. Something, something what I assume um, assume we are going to need again because if we didn't, then well, why would the game give us the option to buy it with one piece of eight? <clears throat> yeah. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. And there's also lots of stuff here, uh, like nails and a hammer and stool and stuff like that that we could peck legs. We could also use for something, I'm sure. But this, but this guy will and uh, notice if if he tried to pick up anything. pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Get away from there! I need all of them. Get away from there! It's not a toy. Get away from there! Yeah. He's he sees everything because he has. Oh no, you don't. It's adjusted to my height. Eyes on his neck or something. Get your hands away from there. No one touches her but me. Right. So yeah, we can't really do anything here for now unless unless we have to do something with this. I don't know. Maybe. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, I didn't think so either. But at least we got a string, that's something, and a rat. Cute little fella. Yeah, but what could we use a rat for? Maybe in the kitchen? I don't know. What, what if people... Oh, actually no, I think I tried already in the last episode to put some uh, cheese squigglies to that soup. To make it taste horrible. But let's see, can we use a rat with the cook? That doesn't seem to work. Well, what about the soup? Good thing this is a cold soup. Oh, so you actually put it in there. Alright, alright. 
didn't, uh, didn't think he would actually do do it. What about these cheese squizzles? That wouldn't taste very good. Yeah, I know. That's the point, Guybrush. Not to make it taste. Do not make it taste good. I don't know. Wood, wood polish would make it taste utterly terrible. I bet. I don't want to polish that. Hmm. So a. Ugh. There's a rat swimming in it. Hmm. Yes. Maybe this is enough. Excuse me. I said, leave me alone. Hmm. Maybe now we have to go and talk to uh, the bar barkeeper again. Let's see what happens. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? Oh, gosh. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. Ah, oh, there we go. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, Bernard. I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Well, yeah, sure. But what other option do we have? I don't know. How much does it pay? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. Mm. First week paid in advance. Nice. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. All right then. So, so we managed to get the uh, uh, cook the, the cook fired, and now we are we are in charge of this kitchen. Nice. Is the rat still there? Yeah, the rat's been swimming in it. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Uh, wait, Mom, is the rat still there? I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Well, I guess not. But at ha but hey, at least we got 400, 420 pieces of eight. I'm rich. Well, not well, not as rich as you were at the beginning of this game, guy. Brush, but yeah, sure. But now, what can we do here? Mm, use the stove. I'm no cook. Well, you are now. You took you took took the job. Use the stick with it. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Yeah. The rat's been swimming in it. Maybe I'll have to make a, a stew of my own. That wouldn't taste very good. Mm. Yuck. The rat's been swimming in it. I don't know. Use a string with it. Oh, that doesn't seem to work. Mm. What? I hate bitchy swaz. Alright, so, but there's not really any new items or things that we can pick up or interact with in any way. Well, maybe, maybe we can now take Ugh, canned it's all cans of fruit cocktail. Well, take. I hate fruit cocktail. I don't care if you hate them or not, Guybrush. Just pick up some. They might be useful. I hate fruit cocktail. Well, fine. Be a baby. Uh, anything else? There's not really anything new here. Fire's out. Yuck. The rat's been swimming in it. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Yuck. The rat's been swimming in it. Right. So I I guess there's not really anything we can uh, do here at the moment. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Alright. There's not really anything that we can do by the looks of it. We can't do anything with the canned goods because Kuiper's a baby. And, uh... We can't do anything with the stove, we can't do anything with the wishy schwa avec rat hairs. 
So yeah, let's just leave for now. I still need to figure, figure out what to do with this wood polish and this bucket of mud. And the monocule, of course. Mm, there's some clean laundry here. It's sparkly clean. Can you just use the mug of a uh, bucket of mud with that? I don't think that'll work. And I guess nice. And we don't really need to need this uh, in this box anymore either for anything because we got. We got the rat. Yo, hey, you, you, and they, don't, they and they don't still want to talk. Anything new, Matt Martin? I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. <laughs> but I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Well, fine. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Hmm. So I need I need a claim ticket from some somewhere. Or I need to, or I need to make uh, Larko uh, return his dirty clothes to the cleaner. I bet we have to make his clothes somehow dirty with this bucket of mud. And I don't know what to do with this money. Mm. Maybe we have to later use this money to uh, to uh, to pay our to pay our trip from this island to. Yeah. To, bas to, uh, to basically pay King Captain Dread uh, for for the trip for the trip out of this island when the time comes. And I also got a string still, but I don't know what to do with it. I think it's yo-yo string. Yo-yo string, huh? Everything looks all blurry. Mm -hmm. If only I could use this stuff on my lines. <laughs> Polish your lines, eh? It's a bucket full of mud. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. Sharp. Nice. Hmm. And we still need yeah. And we also need the spit. Oh, I also almost forgot about the spit. Well, I ha I doubt I can. Oh wait, wait, wait! I don't want to go here. He thinks I'm still in the kitchen. You're supposed to be cooking. The knives needed sharpening. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. <laughs> okay. Well, that well that curry I didn't last very long, huh? did it, guy brush? But then, I, but then again, if we were if if we were fired that fast, then uh, the, the, then then I get then I guess that there was no there was no point to be a cook anymore. All we needed was this money. Which is kind of weird that he's not even demanding it back because we have done literally nothing. But whatever. Yeah, still talk Excuse to you. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Yes, we can. Grog, please. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. God damn it! Still all about, still, still wanted that ID. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. Well, sh shit. And I can't use this bucket of mud with the spit string either, can I? There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. And I can't use the wood polish. I don't want to polish that. Mm, piano. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Mm, advertisement. It reads JoJo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Ah, uh, I don't know. Can you pick it up or something? Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. Right. <laughs> uh, guy brush. I think you have already hurt the business all, 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 already, already by make, by making the part. By making the barkeep uh, fire the cook. 
Ah, oh god, brush. So yeah, we we also need ID somehow as well. Hmm. Maybe may, maybe the cleaner's uh, claim ticket would work as an ID for him. So that so that's another reason why we uh, need the need a claim ticket. I just don't know how we can uh, get one. I think, and I bet we have to do something here as well. But, but this, but this guy sees everything. Mm. Say, so can I, can I give this back to him? Sorry, I don't give refunds. Well, damn. Maybe make something out of the stick, like a peck leg. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, I meant uh, give. No, thanks. Shit. We also have a blank paper. Um, maybe we should ask Wally to make a map for us of something. I don't know. But then again, he doesn't have his monocle. It? That doesn't seem to work. Oh, oh I... shoot. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Well, let's give him this monocle. I for can't a believe somebody would steal it. Oh, there it is. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, can I do something with this paper? No, thanks. I have all the paper I need. Right. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else that we can try to give to him. Well, let's pick up the monocle again. Gang, then... I've lost my monocle again! Oh, how clumsy. You are so clumsy, Wally. Always keep losing it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't. I think I'm stuck again. For one, uh, for change, folks. I just don't know what to do from here. Hmm. Can I? It doesn't seem to stay closed. Uh huh. So I can. So I can. So I can actually uh, close the door. But no. I was wondering, can I make a little trap for Largo and use the mud with this door? Ah, yes, I can. I uh, think I hear Largo coming. Oh shit. Hey, what the hell? Ah, What's there we go. On? There we go. Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, Somebody's gonna be real sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Well, well at least well at least he he, he doesn't he doesn't know know it was us. So yes, yeah, so that's what so, so that's what we so, so, so that's what we had to do in order to make his clothes sturdy. Yes, yes, alright. Damn I'm smart. Took me only a like I don't know, five minute, five minutes to uh, to, uh, to to come up to come come up with that idea. Now let's is he here? You're making me mad, Marty. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Look, I want it free, and I want it tonight. Marty, tonight? Sure, I'll come. <laughs> I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said, I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. <laughs> this is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Alright. Well, I guess we'll let try to tell Marty what he just uh, told us to tell him. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim hmm. ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. All right, all right. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. So we still need the claim ticket, obviously. So maybe, maybe this time we can find it from Larkos' room. That would only make sense to me anyway. So let's, let's go back to his room and try to find the ticket. I, 
at least at, at, at least I don't know where else it could possibly be. All right, let's see. It's empty. Damn it. It's a bit on the tattered side. Where is... Hmm. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. <laughs> well, not, well, neither do I, Skybrush. You're not the only one. But you said Teresa. That doesn't seem to work. I don't see any anything new here. Let's just... Uh, um, yeah. Oh wait, there's nice. the claim. There's the claim ticket. All right. All right, and then let's get out of here. So that's where it was. Sneaky, sneaky game. All right, then, 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 then let's go and and get his get his clothes from there. And then we finally got uh, got the third ingredient, something of the thread. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Yes, of course I do. I would like to keep my claim ticket for taxes. Nah, no, never mind. Uh, whatever, I, just, I got it. Got it right here. Great! I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. Wait. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Don't tell me that you no, have bad eyesight, too. <laughs> what the hell? Was that a bird? Ah, here it comes. What the? Okay. Nice April fresh scent. <laughs> All right. Can you use it on yourself or something? Not my size. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought so. But uh, yeah. So we now got a pearly white bra. Don't really know what to do with this. Well, of course we can just go and return it to the voodoo lady. And actually. Let's do it just that, and then let's the, let's. I, I think we can end the episode there. I, I think uh, I think that and that will be a good place to stop for today. But we still we still need to get some of that spit uh, from the bar, and I don't know how to do that. So that so that's something what I'm have to think up, think about for the next episode. All right, into the coffin you go. How the hell could we possibly get that spit? Maybe, maybe we need something like I don't know, a, a small vial or a little can or glass. I don't know, some, uh, something small. Because, uh, because, because apparently bucket was way too big for it. Because there was, because there wasn't enough spit for it. But whatever, the, whatever the case. Have you brought me any more ingredients? I have this pearly white bra. I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. Do you have the final ingredient? Nope. What was that last one? Some of his bodily fluids. That's all we need to complete the door. Now go. All right. So. So, so, we, so we lastly still indeed need the spit from the bar, but like I said, I don't know how to get it just yet. But, but that, but that, but that was, but that was something for, uh, for for me to think about later. I'm going to end this episode episode here, and in, and in the next and in the next one we hopefully uh, uh, find a way to get that spit from the from the bar and 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 see what else we can possibly do on this island. So that's for the next one. Anywho. Thank you for watching once again and see you next time for more Monkey Island 2 Lee Chuck's Revenge.